Hey guys, this is Gun Fun on the Saiga Forum here. I just wanted to do something that um, a lot of people on the internet say is impossible. So I guess this counts as a magic trick. What I'm going to do is load a full magazine of both a 5 and an 8 rounder on an unmodified bolt into a Saiga 12. So I'm going to show you this is empty. Empty. In fact, I'm going to show you my bolt. completely unmodified. OEM boring unmodified Saiga 12 bolt. Okay, stick that back in there. And probably have to fiddle with this little guy here. Okay, that's in there, right? Still empty. Now here it is with a magazine. This is three inch mag. It's completely full, five rounds. Straight in, rock forward, click. Over the top to load it. You're done. Okay. Now, oh shoot, I, I forgot to grab the eight rounder. So here it is. All right. Here's an eight rounder. The top round of this one is a snap cap that I made. Anyway, I want to show you doing this properly as an AK mag drill. Holding it on target, snap off, stick in, rock forward, rock back, over the top, ready to fire. That's how it's done. Okay, now let's slow this down. So I'm going to clear that snap cap out. Sticking this in, this is a three inch shell by the way, which is a little bit harder to get in, but the motion is to push that top shell in. So you start pushing up, rock back just enough to clear the front lug, then rock forward holding all the way forward, up and in. So let's do this in slow-mo. Sticking up, rocking back enough to clear the lug, click. You're done. Grabbing the next mag, I find it makes a big difference how I hold it. I make sure my thumb is below that rib, snap the release, and this is where an extended release would be really helpful because it's fighting me. Rock it in, over the top. This is not magic. Okay, I guess I kind of undid my own thing. I think a bolt profile is very worthwhile but not worthwhile enough that I needed to spend a hundred bucks on it and not worthwhile enough that I was going to risk screwing up my own bolt. I think it's within my skill range but if I was going to have it done I'd have Poly or Cobra do it. They do a much nicer job and that's a place worth spending the money in, in my opinion. Now, as a point of comparison, here's how I really think you should change a mag on a Saika. This is just plain old better. I don't see how anybody can argue otherwise. Watch. Completely unprofiled bolt your chamber, done. Why would you want it any other way? This is just better. Again, bang. What else do you need? Anyway, I really don't want to hurt anybody's feelings who says it's impossible and I think there's a bunch of people who have very nice running guns and are very helpful in the forum like Eva Black Weapons for instance. His guns run nice, he mostly gives people pretty good advice and I think probably for most of the people who are frustrated um, profiling your bolt would help a lot. There is a minor amount of round deformation but I find that's mostly from people levering in. Oh I was going to make a point. use that dummy round again. I found that if I made a mistake, a lot of the time it was that I was twisting a little bit, and for some reason this gun uh, must have a little tighter magwell for the factory magwell and the receiver than the other one, and it was possible to get just this corner hung up. Um, I ended up actually rounding the corner, although I didn't need to, it just made it so that it was nearly impossible for me to fumble it where, or before it was somewhat easier just a tiny amount. That's not an engagement surface that aligns the magazine right there. I just shaved it a tiny bit with my pocket knife. What I found was this. I'm going to switch it around. 
I would rock it in, engage the lug, and this corner would catch. I think when people have a problem, a lot of the time they're too far back. Notice how it's hitting the receiver. Shift it forward, click. So, you really need to break down and analyze what your motions are one at a time. Another common mistake I find with both the Magwell mags and the rock and lock for me is, I grab it too high on the magazine, now I don't have any room to get my hand in there. Grabbing the magazine consistently, which for me means putting the joint of my knuckle on that line just below the rib, makes it lock in reliably. It's not hard. I still massively prefer a magwell. It's just better. There's so few things you can screw up with a magwell. So, watching this with the magwell, I put it in this crooked. It funnels itself in. I'm going to do that straight sideways so you can see. Crooked, it, it forces me to align it right. Why would you want anything that you can get wrong? Um, with that other gun, the IZ-108, that still was rock and lock, I think it would be vastly improved with an extended magazine release, and I will do that once I find an adequate supply of round to it. But again, and this is another way you can do it wrong with a rock and lock mag. You can hook your back lug first on that and see how that's clicked. I can push forward, but I can't get my front lug in. So how do you do that right? Straight up, till the lug clears, push forward, rock back. Anyway, I hope this helps some of you guys. I'm going to leave this on my gallery section. Anyway, um, good luck guys, hope this helps, and uh, if you feel you need a bolt root profile, go ahead and do it. If you don't have a hundred bucks, you can solve it with practice. I recommend getting some snap caps or making some of your own like I did, and there you go.